Hi guys, welcome back to the channel again. I have another new smartphone. This is the G3. Now the company here are called, I believe that's pronounced Nu or N. Um, but I'd never heard of this company before um, and I'm sure a lot of you haven't either. This is the G3. I have the blue variant and from the looks of here, it looks a very nice phone. This is a $200 smartphone and it has NFC, which from my knowledge is quite rare to have NFC on say a $200 phone. So let's open it up and have a look. Okay, so the mobile sits on top. And a plastic tray. You get an instruction manual, see through stick in case. Get a standard charging block. Get a headphone earphone adapter, which is a USB type C to a 3.5 mil SIM tray tool and USB type C charging cable. Cool. So the G3 comes in a plastic wallet. Let's have a look. I have some specifications on the front and already this is looking very nice. So Let's have a look and go through some of the specs on the front of the phone. 5.7 inch display, 18 by 9 ratio, HD plus at 720p. I know that the uh, the processor is a Helio P25, clocked at 2.39 gigahertz, 4G, 4 gig of RAM, 64 gigabytes of storage, fingerprint ID, 13 megapixel and 5 megapixel rear camera, and a 13 megapixel front camera. And like I said earlier, this also has NFC which is very rare with a $200 phone. Also has a 3000 milliamp battery and it's running on Android 7.1. Let's go ahead and peel these off. That looks absolutely stunning. I love these types of phones. That glass is excellent. So this is a front and rear glass smartphone. That is excellent. Let's turn peel the back off. Oh my God, look at that. I love that. You cannot deny how beautiful that looks. That's the first thing I look for in a smartphone. And I tell you what, it feels very much like the Elephone U Pro. Really does slightly curved glass around the edge, obviously not as curved as the Elephone New Pro, but it's front and back glass. There's not much difference from the back, is there really? Yeah, feels very much like that. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay. Okay, so we have USB type C at the bottom with microphone and speakers. And along the edge, power button and volume rocker up and down. That is a uh, a tactile power button, which is nice. You see, you don't get the uh, the buttons mixed up. You know what buttons you're pressing. That's a really nice touch that is. On this side, it is absolutely clear. And at the top, we have the SIM tray and the two little notches, the aerials. So we have fingerprint sensor on the back and the dual rear cameras with the flashlight. So here we have the front facing camera, earpiece, front facing flashlight and maybe LED notification in there next to proximity sensor. So we've had a look at the body and the specs, beautiful front and rear glass with a really nice blue metal frame. Let's turn it on. It's quite bright. Okay, let me go ahead and set this up. So here we have it guys. I don't normally swear on this channel. Um, I want to try and keep swearing to a mini minimum, but um, that is f beautiful. That display is absolutely incredible. Obviously the uh, wallpaper is probably helping there. Um, viewing angles are very good. That is a superb display. You can see we have a wireless update available. Notification LED, okay. What is LED notification? What about the navigation bar? Doesn't look as if it's um, collapsible. One handed mode. Cool. I 
So Android 7.1.1. Let's check this update quickly. Minor bug fixes, I'm guessing. January 2018 Android security patch. Updated Bluetooth stack for better compatibility. Resolved minor bugs. Uh, but it doesn't look as though you can hide the navigation bar. Let's have a quick apps you get here then. Um, looking, yeah, stock Android. Super. Let's take a look at this camera. ZSD. What's that? I've no idea what ZSD is. Uh, ZSD. Someone will probably let me know. Uh, 16 by 9. Let's take this picture. Let's switch to video mode and check some of the settings on there. 1080p recording. 4K. Goodness me. How good it is though. I'll, I'll try and reveal that in the, in the full review. Doesn't seem to be any EIS on there or optical image stabilization. Okay. So let's go into video mode. Go. Okay, we are testing the new G3 smartphone, which at first glance looks very, very promising. Obviously, the camera will show a lot more. Is the camera any good? Like always, guys, let me know below what you think of the camera and the audio quality. Is it any good? Okay, let's switch to front-facing camera. So front-facing camera, uh, 13 megapixel. ZSD, no idea what that is. I've probably heard of it before, but can't remember. Video mode. Uh, this was 720p, I think. 720p, yep. Do a quick selfie video. Okay, guys, we're on the new G3 smartphone. Front facing camera, 720p. Let us know what you think. Audio quality as well as video quality. So in front of a nice bright window. And then the bright window at the back. Okay. Has a fingerprint sensor. Again. Pretty quick. Just a tap. That's good. Also has face ID. So I'm gonna try and get my face here. Failed to get face. Fail to get face. Done. So you can only use one at a time. You only use face and lock separately. So you can't use face and finger at the same time. That I don't like. Okay, unlocked. Let's try again. A bit slow though. Yeah, fingerprint is definitely faster. Okay, so here we start the YouTube test, or, you know, the display. Uh, one thing that might put people off is that it's only a 720p display. That looks gorgeous. Gorgeous display, guys, on this smartphone. Oh, look at that. Incredible. Is that brightness whacked right up? I can go even brighter, but that is going to be... 
to. Oh, that's not bad. That's all right. I thought it would have got uh, quite overexposed on the camera, but looks excellent. Okay, so this concludes my unboxing and a quick look at the new G3. Stunning smartphone. Really, really impressed. Uh, first impressions. Design is up there with the best. It's nearly as good as the LFO New Pro. I mean, there's a lot that's similar with the LFO New Pro. And for a start, that is the, this is the bottom of both smartphones. Look guys, stacked on top of each other. Volume rocker up and down, slightly different power buttons there. At the top, both of the SIM trays and the aerials on the side, both have absolutely nothing. Very similar. So that's it guys, if you have any questions then please comment below. This truly is a stunning smartphone, only $200 as well. Hope you enjoyed it guys, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe and I'll see you very soon.